Awesome. I was just thinking, what if uh, someone gives us feedback and they just say, yep, yeah, I've had enough. You need stop to doing you need to stop doing podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> A disgrace to the podcast world. <laughs> well, it'll either be Ben's sister or some other mum, really. I mean, no one else is listening. <laughs> If you what was that? Yeah. You sound. Uh, I was just listening to the raw audio from uh, the first bit. Oh, uh, okay. My sound sounds really good. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> what we like. It's so big energy. <laughs> it's mainly my voice that people are listening to. Yeah. I don't even need you guys anymore. This is now the Falcon Malia podcast. <laughs> Hello, Namaskar, Bonjour, Hola, Konnichiwa. Wherever you're listening to us from around the world. Welcome to episode three of the Ready Steady Chat podcast. This week, we're going to bring you some of the funniest news stories from around the world, followed by Let's Play a Game and Peeve Off the Week. So sit back and relax and join in with the chit chat, fun and games. Okay, funniest news of the week. Uh, this week, I'm going to start off with a story of uh, some thieves stealing a safe from a, ser- from a ninja museum in Japan. Hey, how much was the safe worth? They had about 10,000 US dollars in there. Uh, I don't know why a ninja museum needs that much money uh, in US dollars in a safe. But <laughs> right. Apparently they did. Yeah. Did ninjas steal the money? Uh, I don't know if they were ninjas, but they stole from ninjas, which can't be good for them. Uh, <laughs> well, they, or maybe they're reclaiming what belongs to them. Yeah, yeah. Some ninjas stole from them uh, a while back, so they're retaliating. How long did it oh, take no. them to steal it? When And when did they steal it? Uh, this was on my birthday, August 21st. Uh, oh, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> this man doesn't even have it on his Facebook, and now he's giving shout-outs for his birthday. Uh, <laughs> he's I'm going to blank that out. birthday to himself. <laughs> in the edit, that's going out. <laughs> I'm gonna no, that's peep. staying in, that's staying in. <laughs> oh, how was your birthday, Falcon? Yeah. Uh, 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 not interesting. Didn't do anything. Really <laughs> you got a nice card. You got a nice card, didn't you, Falcon? I oh, it was a huge A4 size card from Ben. Which what was, did it say? Uh, he called me a bell end, um, ah. which was nice, I guess. <laughs> I opened it in front of my parents, so that was fun. Uh, <laughs> like, How friendly! What a lovely friend you have. Yeah, what a lovely friend. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, back back to before Falcon revealed his uh, birthday to the world. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, how long, or wh- when did they, so you said it, it was on your birthday. How long did it take them to steal it? Was it like a nighttime operation? Apparently it was only three minutes, the whole three heist. Three minutes. Which is crazy. You break into a ninja museum, take only three minutes to steal a 150 kilogram safe. Right? They must have known. Who, they who must have been the ninjas themselves. The yeah, it must have been ninjas. <laughs> who was the security for the museum? <laughs> Ninjas. I'd, be disappointed. I'd yeah. be disappointed if it wasn't ninjas. That's what I'm thinking. If there were ninjas defending that museum, you'll be that would be oh your pride would be dented, wouldn't it? Oh you yeah. Can't even defend the money. Jeez. I've got to admit, I didn't realise <laughs> there was a ninja museum. I mean in Japan there is. So. In Japan. Yeah. Well wow. I didn't I didn't realise that was a thing. What'd you do? How uncultured of you. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh dear. A ninja museum in Japan. Hmm. <laughs> Just, I got to admit, when you when you first said ninjas, the first thing I thought was was teenage ninja mutant titles. But <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's where the Japanese got their idea. That's about as, that's about as far as by ninja knowledge goes. Well, that was it, wasn't it? That was that was where it all started, and then Japan yeah. actually had yeah. ninjas. That's where they took their inspiration from. Look at those turtles. Go Would on. you guys like to hear about about some? About some hair. Hair, some okay. Hair. About hair, yes. Very exciting news. Very hair, hair on the head, hair news. on the legs. Where are we talking? Oh, definitely hair on the head. Family friendly podcast we are. Um, although Good we did sir. just say the word bell in a minute ago. Um, <laughs> man breaks hair raising world record with 42.5 inch mohawk. Oh, Jesus. That is. Incredible. The best bit about this was he tried this in 2007 and fell short. So it's, he's, it's been planned for 13 years to get into the Guinness Book of Records. By Let's give him a shout out because he's worked hard on this. Joseph Grissomore. And where's he from? 
Um, good question. He is from Minnesota, of course. America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, for 13 years, he's obviously planned to grow his hair. It's 42.5 inches high. Wait, what? Wait inches or meters? Inches. <laughs> inches. Imagine meters. <laughs> 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 the guy would be like knocking planes about. <laughs> He'll be single handedly disrupting signals. <laughs> he could be the next Marvel villain with his hair. Can he? <laughs> Even 42 inches, he but must yeah. like check He'll... for clearance and stuff before he enters the building. Yeah. But I've got to admit, I'm, if I'd be brutally honest, I'm just jealous. I'm 24 and I can already see my hair like receded at the sides. So I'm like iron up a hair transplant already. <laughs> Unless you get transplant and then you stick one hair on top of each other and then you can get a really tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're saying you're losing hair on the sides so you can still have a mohawk, Ben. Yes, sir. Yeah, still happen, Ben. Yeah, but, but the problem is this guy's done a mohawk because he wanted to. For me, it'd be an enforced mohawk. Just around, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I could do. <laughs> so when he's got his hair in full flow, he must have to open like the sunroof in a car, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. You'll see hair sticking like, out. He has to like buy a convertible, giant... I mean. Yeah, convertible would make sense. Or, or you, like a normal know, car with a sunroof. You know, like them Trolls dolls from that film? like Exactly what he looks like. Trolls. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he literally, his hair looks like that. It's so, it's ridiculously pointy. He's obviously been jowled and everything. But yeah, it is absolutely but, crazy. I just can't believe he spent, he must have spent like 13 years planning this because he failed in 2007. So he's going to be gutted <laughs> if someone comes along and breaks it quite quickly. <laughs> Well, if we start now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do worry though. To be fair, if it's going to take about a year, I'm not sure how much hair I will have in a year's time. Anyway, so <laughs> something. What story some, have you got? got yeah, yeah. So now. something else we could try apart from uh, growing our hair is cool. applying uh, for a spot at the University of Fine Arts, Fine Arts in Hamburg to to do it to take part in an experiment where they pay us $1,900 to engage in a specific form of active inactivity. So basically, just get paid to do nothing. Well, I'm guessing a lot of people are going to apply, right? So they have to choose the person who's who's done the most nothing <laughs> in their lives. <laughs> yeah. Foul. So, Me and you, mate. Well, geez, we'll oh, be there. We're sorted, yeah. Money. <laughs> no, we <laughs> went to uni. <laughs> <laughs> Give me yeah, we done, I've barely done anything for a year. That'll be it. <laughs> I've I'm done. There. I haven't done anything for the past four years. So, we <laughs> 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 <you> star students. <laughs> yeah. Finally, something we're good at. You're we studied for, for the last two days and somehow yeah. managed to pass. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 do they study you? Are you like examined or something? Yeah. So the reason the reason they're doing this uh, is quite serious. Actually, it's. They're oh, focusing God. on how you can Make turn a society bad, that is structured around achievements and accomplishments on its head. Does that make sense? How you that's can turn really a society bo- that is structured that's around that's achievements and accomplishments on its head. Yeah, that, that's pretty boring. Uh, that's, yeah, very it's boring. Important. I mean, you, you, you do, you do, you boring, do but very important. We, 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 try, we try and at least give people entertainment on, on this podcast. So, I mean, people have just now fallen asleep. That's you it. asked for it. I was trying to avoid yeah, it. But I, th- I thought it was going to be a bit inter- interesting. That was <laughs> horrific. <laughs> Literally, that was the most boring thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't understand it because I fell halfway for you. To, I fell asleep halfway for you to telling me what it was. It would be hard yeah, though, not ch- not doing anything. Anything. You go insane. Yeah, yes, I, I mean you don't have to do anything. Right, Sam. You just got to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how long can you just sit there on, you've, on your sofa? You've got to the nothing? point of the story. <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff. Quick way to make money as well. So you wouldn't be allowed like any like game console or anything like that in this room. Absolutely just, like, not, because like, then you're doing something. Uh-huh. Uh, well, you yeah, can't even sleep pretty... because that's doing something. That that is an as an activity, yeah. So what are they going <laughs> to do? Make you stay awake for a year? Potentially. They hide Christ. someone to sleep. In fact, this, quite, this sounds quite painful. Well, thank yeah. you for that fun news story. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. You know what we need to Quick boost our to spirits after that horrifically boring story from Sunil? <laughs> I think we need. I think we need a game. Yes. Yes, we do. We were worried the pod would be tame, so I said, "Why don't we play a game?" So now my game needs a name, so I decided to call it Let's. 
play a game. Let's play a game. Welcome to Let's Play a Game. So last week was very successful with sausage or not a sausage. But as I don't like to dwell on my successes, we're going to play a different game. This week's game is maybe it's because I'm a Londoner. Do you get the Do you get the title? Have you ever heard the song Maybe Because I'm a Londoner? I haven't. I haven't. No. Oh, sing it. That, that, sing that's it. It's gone downhill already. Oh, you would like me to sing it, would you? Yes, please. It, basically, the the bit goes. <laughs> shouldn't have said anything <laughs> but basically it goes maybe it's cause I'm a Londoner that I love London town proper, oh, proper London accent there oh, I have you it's convenient <laughs> yeah. that thank you for making me sing <laughs> I mean I had to make you sing but so. yes yeah <laughs> yeah now that you've sung that actually yeah, yeah. <laughs> this week's game to test whether you know your apples and pears from your Western super mares. Yes, it's all about <laughs> class that, wasn't it? I was quite impressed with that. I just started yeah. off the spot. So <laughs> this week's game is about cockney rhyming slang. Basically, Interesting. A, sl- a slang that is kind of native to London itself, <laughs> where you take a phrase to rhyme with a word in replace of that word, actually. So but, so an example, as I've just said in the introduction, would be apples and pears is stairs, or Western super mare would be nightmare. So like last week, you guys are going to get asked um, four questions each. Falgan, as you've won last week, would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go second. I'd like to see how this goes first with Samal. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Not con- you're not confident. Uh, okay. I'll be the sacrificial lamb. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm getting, I'm getting the sense, mate, that you're you're you've got the East End in just so now. <laughs> so, so now, first one. What is Lady Godiva? Oh, so what does that mean in normal talk? Yeah, normal talk. Yes, <laughs> normal talk. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, is it, is it Lady Godiva? Yes, Lady Godiva. So basically, it's got a rhyme. You're, if your armor doesn't answer doesn't rhyme, you're probably in trouble. So, oh, it has to rhyme with Lady Godiva. What? So, is it a direct translation, or is it just of. any rhyme? No, no, no. There is def- there's a definitive answer here. It's not a selection. I like really? to take. I like to tell you all my answers are off Cockney Rhyming Slang dot co dot uk. I'm not oh, held sorry. responsible myself. A verified source, then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lady Godiva. I'm stumped. I'm stumped, actually. Have you got oh, any I'm ideas, Falcon? A... You want a Go bonus on, point? What... Yeah. Do I get a point if I say? Yeah, yeah, if you get it. Yeah. It's a fiver, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> He's pulled he it out of the back. He belongs there. He's like Danny yeah, Dyer yeah. himself. Unbelievable. <laughs> Technically, it's five pounds, but yes, it's right because Lady Godiva is fiver, which obviously yeah. fiver is five pounds. So even yeah, before yeah, yeah. technically he's answered the question, Falgon is one up. Excellent. Falgon, yeah. your first proper one mm-hmm. is Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Um, what does that rhyme with? Swayze. Is is a good question and kind of the whole point of this quiz. <laughs> Um, I do like how serious you guys are taking this. It's like you're writing it down himself and going. I can't let Samal win. <laughs> oh, sweet. Don't worry. You, you, don't worry. You're not Lazy? To... There actually was two answers to this one. Okay. And was Lazy one of them? It was. It yes. was. <laughs> oh, my gosh. In this thing, it says he's, he's a bit Patrick it. Swayze, isn't it? So that would be that. You could have crazy as well. Uh, That's one of the answers given on this website. So, it's 2 nil to Falgan. Well, do I get one point? Because the last one was Samal's, wasn't it? No, yeah, you get that point. Yeah, yeah, you get a point. Don't go, don't, mate, you're, yeah, ruthless attitude you got to have. You got to have that elite (laughs) mentality. You're winning comfortably. (laughs) 2 nil to you. So now, your second one, you're going to need this, really. Yeah. Damien Duff. Damien Duff. Yeah, Damien Duff. Uh, Damien Duff, so Duff, Buff, Tough, Rough, Cuff. 
Uh, I can let you know you ha- you have just said the answer in one of them things. I said the answer. No, you can't say yeah. that. Come on, that's cheating. You can't tell. Oh yeah, uh, it builds attention, Falcon. Ah, uh, because it's even Duff, funnier when Damien. it gets wrong. Damien Duff. I'm gonna go for rough. Oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm back sorry. Back in the bro. game. Back in the game. Yeah, the assistance then. I thought he was going to get it wrong. Oh. <laughs> so, Falgun, yeah. your next one, it's 2-1 to Falgun. Your next one is Auntie Ella. Fella. No. Auntie Ella, yeah. Um... I have no idea. I might have to pass on this one. Auntie, go on this and have you got a guess? I was going to say fella, but it doesn't sound right. No, fella's not we'll, right. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll go through the words, Falcon. Okay. Ella, Bella, Stella. Stella. <laughs> Stella. Hmm. No, Stella would be a good guess. I will give you the answer. It is umbrella. Ah. I got to admit, in some ways, fella and Stella were probably better answers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's that? That's two one, isn't it? Still. So how how would you how would you use that in a sentence then? Um, <laughs> oh, it's oh, raining. Let me just grab oh, my yeah. auntie Ella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Keith. It doesn't sound right. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. All right, Keith. Sorry. I'm, sorry, I'm a bit wet. I've, I've left my auntie Ella. Out. <laughs> <laughs> two one to Falgun. You both got two questions left each. So yeah. so now your next one is Nigel Mansell. Nigel Mansell. Nigel Mansell, uh, cancel, pencil, cancel, cancel, pencil. Oh, cancel, can't wait. Hold on to the thought. Cancel is the only word I've got so far. Dancel, pencil, cancel, Hansel, Hansel, hmm, Hansel, uh, it's a name. I, uh, because it's the only thing <laughs> in my head that rhymes with Mansell, I'm going to go with yeah. cancel. You've gone with cancel. And cancel yeah. is correct. Come it is on. correct. Two, two, two. Two, two. Two, two. So, Falgun, your next one is mm-hmm. wet and wild. Wet and wild? Hmm. <laughs> wet describing and you. wild. Mild? <laughs> mild. Mild That's is... Early guess. It's wrong. It's wrong, uh, unfortunately. Child? So it's two, two. It is child. But oh, but he's too I've late. Got, he's too yeah, late. Yeah, I've got, to, I've got to take <laughs> your first. It's a professional <laughs> game, this. I take this very seriously. Yeah. So it's free, free. I've got to miss. It's very, no, hang on. Two, no, two, two, isn't it? Two, two, two. Two, yeah. two, two. two, two. I, my scoring is appalling. Two, two. So you've got one question left each. There will yeah. be a tiebreaker if you are tied. Okay. So, so now. Yeah, <laughs> your your next one is whistle and flute. Whistle and flute. Uh, toot coot boot. Oh, suit root. I'm gonna go with a quick guess with boot. You said it there actually, but it wasn't boot. It was no. suit. Oh no! Oh. So 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 far, <laughs> we're all wanting you to win. <laughs> 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 this to win it. This to win it. It's two two. Falgun, your yeah. one is rum and coke. Rum <clears throat> and rum coke. and coke. Your favourite. Falgun gets all the easy ones. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> rum and coke. Coke. Uh, so. <sighs> Come on, Falgun. Should have some tense, tense music. This, this is a walk in the park. Is it? Yeah. I can't think of anything that rhymes with coke. <laughs> hey? There'll be people listening to this screaming at you. Yeah. Absolutely. In, a, in an East End accent. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be I've calling no you this, actually. actually. No idea. Come on, you've got to have a guess. You've got to have a guess. Because I think if Fargan doesn't have an answer, so now might. He gets passed. Yeah. It will get passed if you don't have an answer. Yeah, pass, yeah. Pass. Oh, here we go for the know, winner. Is it, oh, is it joke? Oh, <laughs> is it rum is it? and coke? Yeah, rum and coke. Joke coke. is 
is joke. So now it's yeah. mine. Uh, <laughs> what a comeback. I, I should have guessed. <laughs> winner, a winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I'm fuming. <laughs> right. Falcon had a Western Superman there at the end. Oh, he had an absolute nightmare. But yes, this week's winner is to now. So you're actually 2 1 up in the series, if we can call it a series. So yes, well done. And it's, again, another successful game. So now's the winner. And thank you for playing Let's Play a Game. So that brings us on to our next segment. We're trying something new here. We're going for Peeve of the Week. And the subject for this week is airlines and flying and the whole flying experience. Ben, do you want to kick off with your number one peeve when flying? Yeah, I've got to admit, when we put this in the chat to say, potentially have a think about what stuff annoys you when flying... I was thinking in the shower the other day where I do my best thinking. And I got a bit, the thing that sprung to mind first and foremost was it was more on the landing of of the airline or the plane journey. And okay. to be fair, like, I, I don't do, I don't know if there's a difference between kind of um, long haul flights. Most of the flights I've done like short haul, like to like Spain, Portugal. Don't go, don't, need to venture a little bit more. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I it's, it's when you land and people get up straight away oh, and like, they're getting their luggage out straight away you know what i mean literally as soon as the seat belt sign goes off it's like are you saying bolt start they take the seat belt off they jump up they're going through i'm thinking you've got to wait another 10 minutes until the bloody doors open where you, you're not going to get anywhere but i'll tell you what and i'll tell you the best bit of it is when you see them people and you and you and i've got to admit you, i kind of like remember them they annoy me so much is that when you get to like the baggage reclaim and you get your bags before they do oh. you think, yeah, 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 there's karma there you know what i mean that is karma <laughs> right there because it's, it's such an annoying thing you're gonna yeah. one of you guys are gonna tell me you're, you're you do that now yeah no, it's, no, no, it, no I, I hate I, it i tend to sit down i hate it I, as well that my thing is if i sit in the aisle seat i know people next to me want to stand up so, as soon as the like wheels touch the ground yeah it's so awkward and to be fair sometimes you do get that but then i feel like i have to kind of stand up to at least show the amp like i got the ambition of getting up at some point <laughs> and i'm not just going to stay on the plane for the return journey <laughs> but the problem is you kind of half stand up don't you the, you kind yeah. of half stand you up can't stand head, straight head, no, your head's like scraping the, the top of the plane as you're trying to show ambition that you're going to get off at some point. I just don't get it. I, one, one, I don't get it because you can half of them, you know what I mean? You're, you're, they're queuing up for about five, ten minutes before they open the doors. It's not like as soon as the seatbelt goes off, you can jump out of the plane. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, yeah. you, oh, oh, do you know what? I, I, I think I can make the leap until like the bit where the corridor bit where you walk through. It's, I just don't get it. I think, where are you going? You're not getting anywhere. Or also the people, like I said, I've been on a short haul flight, so I'm on a rant now. This has really triggered me. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, like on, like on short haul flights, basically, you know what I mean? You've only not been on your phone for like two, three hours. It's the people that as soon as you land, they're getting their phone out as if the whole world may have ended without them not being able to take a phone call for two hours. Do you know what I mean? It's just like but, behave. But for, that for bit an... I kind of understand, but I, I'm not so worried about that bit, the phone bit. For I an international I do flight... It. If you're not on an international flight and you know you've been flying for twelve yeah. or you've been off your phone for twelve, thirteen, fourteen hours and you, you want to let family yeah, know yeah, that you're yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get yeah, that. I get so that. what do you I do then, that. man? Do you just uh, knock their phone out of the hand then? Because no <laughs> <one's> <laughs> <really> <laughs> <reacted>. <laughs> <laughs> Just whip it out of their hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whip out of their hand, I'm like, no one cares that much. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> maybe i'm just jealous because i look at my every time i look at my phone no one's texts me for them two hours it's just, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just the, the the provider texting you oh <laughs> hello and welcome to spain <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 i've said a few i'm technically going to post say one but go on then what's your one so now? yeah before he gets too angry let's step in falcon for me, um, <laughs> one of the one of the most annoying things is when you when you get served food and uh, the chap or the lady in front of you pulls their seat back, so oh, that yeah. and when they recline it and then you're cramped for space yeah. and you're absolutely your elbows yeah. are all over the place trying to dig into sausage and mash. It's the worst sausage and mash. Sausage. That's the food is thought of. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it for ordering sausage and mash yeah. on a plane. <laughs> 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 I got continental admit, food, for, isn't for it? Me, yeah, <laughs> it, I've got to admit though, it is, it, it is quite rude when if people do that. Just like 
moving back. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It, but it's weird because, like, I don't know. I, I don't think I could feel like I would be able to, like, say something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you'd have no. to call the air, <laughs> air host just over or air host. No, that seems more. Oh, you're aggressive. grassing on the. You're grassing on yeah. him instead. <laughs> no one likes yeah, grass. You're telling, you're put, you would have knocked on his head, would you? Right? You would have knocked on his head and no, said, just leave it. it you just I'll leave do it. it in a very British way. Yeah, yeah, of getting angry myself and very annoyed, <laughs> but not, not addressing the situation whatsoever. <laughs> Not, I couldn't do what you did, put your hand up and telling the teacher, oh, mm. miss, please, can you do something about these people in front? Do you know what I mean? No, no, I would I wouldn't <laughs> no. do that. It, unless it's like a continuous theme throughout the whole journey. Too fair, though, it's more awkward. It's more awkward when it's like a kid. I've had it like when a kid's been kicking you in the back for like a flight and you can't do anything, can you? You can't turn around and have a go at a child. Do you know what I mean? You, you, the rest of the plane thinks you're a bit of an idiot. Do you know what I was telling me he usually kick, turns around and just kicks them back. I'll slap him across the face. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that probably that probably sorts them out. <laughs> yeah, they'd never do it again in their life, you know. Yeah. I might go to prison. Oh, but... Falcon, what is... How about you, Falcon? What, what's your, yeah, what's your peeve? Uh, I have a. I don't know. Mine's the airport, really. The airport, but really annoys okay. me. So when you you know before a flight, you're like, oh, I'm hungry. I want to buy some food. Uh, yeah. You go down to the place. You find a place. You get yeah. food. But the person in front of you just stood there like like they have forever. Even though I have a couple of hours, I'm still in a hurry. You're like, get me my food, get out. But the person in front... So your, your pet peeve is someone else actually wants to order food as well yes. as you. Yeah. Other people yeah. in the airport are I've got to admit... The most wants to make sure he's at his gate and he doesn't miss, yeah. miss his flight. Yeah. And they're like, I, oh... I've got to admit, the most... Appro- Sorry, the most surprising thing about that is that Falcon goes in the normal terminal. I'd thought you, you Mr. Mr. <laughs> Money Malia himself would be strolling through the departure lounge <laughs> into one of the private lounges, <laughs> sipping on champagne while us mere mortals stand in W.H. Smith trying to get a pack of Maltesers. Yeah, I, I like to eat what the common people eat, you know. Uh, you? <laughs> go out of the shops, yeah. yeah. You like to blend with the crowd you, from time to yeah, time. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, Falcon. What's the highest class you've flown in, in flying? Next premium to the pilot. economy. Premium, premium, premium economy. economy. Falcon yeah. stand next I'm to the pilot. Rich. Don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> I am the pilot. <laughs> I am the pilot. Hello, this is your Captain Malia speaking. <laughs> no children are allowed to kick anyone in the back of the seat. Those I'll come and slap you. <laughs> uh, but other than uh, yeah, that, I got I think, a bit. I, yeah. Other, other than that, doesn't... in the plane, yeah. it would be like if you're if I'm sat on the aisle seat, and the person next to me yeah. wants to use the toilet, and they don't say anything about it. It's like they want me to like guess they want to go to the toilet. They just like look, keep looking over at me every few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? gonna suddenly what? stand up. No, yeah. I've had this no, no, once. No, 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 no. Let's, uh, yeah. no. let's break. Yeah, let's break this down because what that basically means is someone has effectively wet themselves next to you because you. No, like, no, oh, no. That's why they kept looking at me. <laughs> No, so uh, this has happened to me twice, okay? I take a flight from <laughs> India to the UK. I sit in the aisle seat because it's more comfortable. You know, you don't have to ask anyone to like, go to yeah. the toilet. But the person sat next to me, like, stares at me for a couple of minutes every now and then. Yeah. And I yeah. think, oh, what have I done? But then it turns out they want to use the toilet. They, like, somehow managed to <laughs> ask me to get out. And in I always head, think... I just, yeah, sorry, go ahead. In my head, I always think... Why not just ask me in the first place? Why stare at me for the first, like half an hour before you actually <laughs> ask me? <laughs> That's why I had in my head. I just had you and some random passengers staring at each other. For That's basically what it was, you know. Yeah. Just, just, just a mid-air staring contest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fal- the person sat next to Falcon going all I want to do is go to the toilet and Falcon's going I am the captain of your row I chose this seat I chose this seat you will go to the toilet when I say so not until I tell you it's, it's okay I love that I love that yes that oh, is uh, very frustrating have you have you ever had to sit in the middle Falcon and then get up past the person on the end because that's pretty bad as well yeah, have you I've done sat on the yeah. window seat? Yeah, I've sat on like the outside. Oh, that's a journey and a half to the aisle. Like, when you're on the window seat. It is, yeah. You have to ask two people to get out of the way. <laughs> but so the question there, 
Falcon, Falcon, the question there is, what happens when you need the toilet there? Do you stare at them? <laughs> For half an Do hour? And then I ask, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Falcon, Falcon wears them down first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they actually, they, they vacate the row and don't come back. Falcon gets yeah. a row to himself there. <laughs> <laughs> and it oh just becomes God. Falcon's row. He yeah, is a I'm captain. That, that, I yeah, that. Know, I've now got a vision of Mr. of Captain Maller in his pilot uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be a pilot. Like I'm that, colorblind. Um, you can't uh, be a pilot. Uh, uh, colorblind, uh, so. uh, there go my dreams. Mate, don't let any don't let anyone crush your dreams. You do what want to do. <laughs> so I think that was I think that was another successful episode. Don't you guys? Yeah, I enjoyed you that. Bent well. Thank you for listening to episode three of Ready Steady Chat. Unfortunately, we will not be back next week because Falcon, very selfishly, has decided to go on holiday. But we will be back the following Saturday. If you have any suggestions, and probably it's a good time actually with the couple of weeks break, do let us know if there's anything you'd like to hear in the podcast or a new podcast. So we're always open to feedback and anything you'd like to see in our podcast. And get in touch with at Ready Steady Chat on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're listening to us on YouTube, please like and subscribe because that would make Falgon's holiday go unbelievably well. So from me, Falgon, so now thank you for listening to this week's podcast and see you again in a couple of weeks. Au revoir.